up guys? Uh, the first Android Q beta just dropped. It's faster, it's fluid, and there are a few new cool improvements, but it sucks. Uh, and with that statement, you might be wondering why. Uh, well, first I'm gonna go through everything that's new and improved with Android Q, and then I'll explain my reasoning. So Android Q doesn't actually look any different from Android Pie, so if you were expecting a major UI overhaul, you're not gonna get it. You're not. Uh, the biggest thing that everyone is raving about is the new dark mode. So it looks like Google's finally following in the footsteps of Oxygen OS and embracing dark mode for the operating system. Uh, but this doesn't include any of the apps that you normally might use like Twitter, Chrome, or IG. Basically just these system apps like the dialer and the settings. Other little extras in terms of looks are you being able to now change the icon shape and font in the developer options, as well as the accent colors. That's something you couldn't do before natively. So yeah, that's nice, but overall very tiny, tiny little changes to the OS aesthetically. If battery life is something that's always a concern to you, then you'll be pleased to hear that Android Q's got a few new additions in that area. Uh, the first of which being a new battery life indicator. So if you swipe down in the status bar menu by where the battery is, it'll show you exactly when the pixel thinks you're gonna need to charge it again or when the phone is gonna die. And it kind of got me thinking like, wouldn't it be wild if there was a device out there made for like a human being that could tell you when you're gonna kick the bucket based off of like current health conditions? Yeah. Anyway, uh, in addition to that, there's also new uh, battery saver options. So you can set a schedule to when to turn on the battery saver based on like your daily routine, more Google AI stuff, you know, so that's pretty cool. I like my privacy and now Android does too. Uh, they've had the app permissions thing in Android for a couple of versions now, but now they're getting even more specific for added security. So instead of just straight up granting or denying an app to be able to use something at all times, you can now limit an app's use of certain hardware components based on whether the app is actually in use or not, which is really good because there is a lot of BS out there on the Play Store. When it comes to other little goodies in the beta, Android Q now has some new options for sharing stuff with people. So within any sort of app, when you hit the share button, uh, you'll get a shortcut to share content with specific people within apps that you've recently used, like Twitter, for example, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, in addition to that, Google is now, with, along with all other OEMs, preparing for foldable phones. So Android Q will natively support that hardware type, but foldable phones is an entirely different discussion. So in typical Android beta style, there are a handful of new features that I can't actually demonstrate yet. So you gotta hit the link in the description to check all those little things out. But why does Android Q suck according to me? Well, this. This is what native screenshots now look like on the Pixel 3 XL from Android Q. Like, that is just ridiculous. Like, like what is that? <laughs> But no, seriously, um, I just feel like nothing's really game changing with this update. Uh, no RCS, no updates to the system or Google suite of apps. Um, it's just boring, you know, and boring sucks. But nonetheless, this is a beta. So one, there could be updates and future betas down the line that kind of change my opinion on things. And two, it's not like you have to pay for this software or anything. So you can't technically complain about it if it's not performing any worse than the previous version, you know? But let me know what you guys think. Uh, there will be links down below to download this on your Pixel device if you want to check it out uh, and to see the official change log. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, I got ahead into finals week, so videos might be delayed for a while. Uh, but when I return, they will be good because I have like a list of videos I want to tackle and I totally haven't gotten to like the good, good stuff yet. Uh, but yeah, anyway, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Talk to you guys in the next one.